Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build the HLRC Aero 3 Mini Quadcopter. This quadcopter is soon going to be offered both as a plug and play or a binary style version, so you won't need to assemble it yourself. And in addition, you'll be able to choose between a 6S compatible version, which is going to be bundled with the 1408 2400KV motors, which I've recently bench tested, or a 4S compatible version, which is going to be bundled with the 1408 3600KV version, which I'm soon going to bench test as well. In this video, I'm going to go over the components that I'm going to use, then assemble the quadcopter, and in the next few days, I'm going to post the flight footage. So first of all, the frame that is going to be used is of course the AGLRC Aero 3 hybrid frame. The FPV camera is the new Cadex Ratel, which I'm also going to review in the next couple of days, and in case you didn't know, and I didn't, Ratel means a Hadin Badger. As I just mentioned, the motors are going to be the AGLRC FD1408 motors, and the only difference between the 6S and the 4S version is the KV option. The propellers that are going to be in use are blue Gemfen 3052 propellers. The all-in-one stack is the HLRC Ford FD445, which is based on a 20x20 F4 flight controller and a 35A 4-in-1 BL8032 ESC. The VTX is the XJB TX20 version 2 VTX. It supports 48 channels, features smart audio, and has a selectable output range of 25, 100, 200 and 350 milliwatts. Finally, the FPV antenna is the new AGLRC Hammer Stubby FPV antenna that comes with an SMA antenna connector. Now I'm going to quickly assemble all the parts together and I will see you in a bit in order to go over the results. So my AGLRC Aero 3 is now ready, and actually I didn't build only the 4S version, I also built the 6S one, so I'll be able to test both versions. The total weight of my build is 174.9 grams, so the Aero 3 is about 50 grams heavier than the XGB 145. The wheelbase of the frame is about 152 millimeters. The distance between the front two motors is 9 centimeters. The distance between the back two motors is 11.5 cm and the distance between the back motors and the front ones is about 11.2 cm. The thickness of the bottom plates and the top one is 2 mm and the thickness of each arm is 4 mm and by the way these arms are replaceable which means that if you're gonna break an arm you can simply replace it. So I hope you enjoyed this pretty short build video and as I mentioned before in the next few days I'm going to head outdoors and then I'm going to test both 4S and 6S versions. As always if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.